Yeah bro, I'm telling you, no, in school I learned that one kidney is enough to survive. Other one I can sell up means a minimum one 200k dollars I'll get. Life is sorted after that. Hey, what do you mean that's not practical? Jealous sir. Hey, God, I wasted my time talking to you. Rend it seems. Um, anyway. Hello friends, this is Ots according to a survey conducted by your mama. No, God! No! Wrong intro, sorry about that. Um, hey guys, this is Color the Beast and welcome to my first ever video on YouTube. Uh, I know, you're probably wondering what events led me down this path. Fact is, um, I just woke up one day and decided to go for it. Oh, what's the worst that can happen, right? Right? Uh, as you all can see from the title, this one is going to be about why I play Dead by Daylight or why you should consider playing it or something in between uh, there'll be some footage playing on in the background while i talk so y'all can analyze some god level plays if you can call them those ah! uh, this is probably going to turn into a history lesson so apologies in advance let's go so uh, as a kid i never really played a lot of games uh, probably three or four tops um, the first game I ever remember playing was Adventure Island on a Middle Eastern bootleg Nintendo console. Uh, yeah, only the real ones know how baller that game was, just saying. Yeah, the next was probably FIFA 06 and I'm not going to talk about FIFA dude, it's, it's, it's just too much trauma. Then came NFS High Sticks. Yep, Skund, if you're watching this, thank you for that game man, that game was a lifesaver. Um, fun fact, I never played NFS Most Wanted 2005. Yeah, that game, till about 8 years ago. So if that doesn't scream, wow, this guy didn't have a childhood, then I don't know what does. And yeah, the, the last game that I remember playing was um, a cracked version of Spider-Man 2 that crashed every time Mysterio showed up. So yeah, that was, that was fun. Bottom line is these were games that I played in desperation and I got bored easily. I, these, these were games that I never really wanted to play and eventually um, you know, my interest in games died out and that was that. Until about 6 years ago when the Sidemen played their first ever game of DVD. I had followed the Sidemen closely and I had loved every video of GTA or FIFA or football that they had put out but after that first DVD video. I knew that that was the only game that I wanted to play, wanted to play, yeah. I mean, I, I thought to myself, what a concept, dude, like, a horror game, play as a killer or a survivor, do objectives, play with your friends or randoms. N now if you're thinking, oh my god bro, you're so trash, there was Counter-Strike and Dota and LOL and all that, why didn't you play all that? You gotta remember boys, I had no interest and I had a potato PC, which eventually turned into a potato laptop which then evolved into a stolen laptop which finally became a hand-me-down laptop don't ask just just don't um also i had no friends <laughs> they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get in uh, but now i had an interest and i had friends uh, the only thing that was missing was a damn system that could run a game without sounding like a generator and blowing up and two years ago i got just that still a laptop though hasn't been stolen yet works like a charm uh, literally the first thing i did was install dbd on it and play i mean who needs an antivirus when you have easy anti-cheat on dbd right <laughs> and while it has been two years since i got the game i still am kind of trash at it uh, and while i thought the reason that i play dbd is the interest and the longing for it and the characters in it the truth is it's just the people i play with that make it special the randoms Nah, just kidding. It's my friends. Um, I would drop names, but... If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. In big trouble. And I don't want to be in big trouble. I probably wouldn't have done this if it weren't for y'all. I don't know how y'all deal with me, so um, thank you. Um, this this one's for you. Suck a dick, dude. Uh, now that we've established that the main reason I play DBD is the people I play it with, let's smoothly transition into other reasons why I play DBD. And maybe why you should give it a shot. A uh, fair warning, this is gonna be survivor bias because that's what I play often. If I ever go back to playing killer again, I'll do another video I guess. Um, so stay tuned for that. Are you sure about that? Yeah, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Um, anyway, let's just get into it. Number one, doing gens. This is the most fun thing about the game. So much skill dude, all you have to do is press a button. 
that's it i mean to be fair it is very boring but sometimes you got to do the boring stuff to get a good result and in my experience when you play solo not a lot of gens get done and that eventually leads to the downfall of the team it's kind of sad um number 2 the chases now this is the most fun thing about the game i mean i swear dude um if you're like me your heart rate will be sky high you won't know where to go or what to do uh, you'll run around like a headless chicken thinking you've wasted the killer's time a lot and bam it's been just 10 seconds and you're dead um on the flip side you actually are in chase for the best part of a century and bam um half a gen is done and you get face camped and you die so does your team and that actually segues perfectly into point number 3 which is uh, the randoms when you solo queue you you realize that you're not the only dumb dumb out there there are plenty in fairness to them they could be having bad days or they're playing for the first time or they're just memeing and vibing um, the point i'm trying to get at here is um, that everyone makes mistakes and everyone's definition of fun is different and you're just going to have to have to learn that and live with that Next up is the roster. Now, survivors are essentially reskins of the same base model. Um that being said, they have a ton of fun perks to play around with, like um, no mither and auto didact. Uh, but the killer gallery is stacked. Uh, original characters like the 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 artist or the plague, or the blight and many more um along with, you know, licensed all-time greats like Michael Myers, uh, Freddy Krueger and, you know, the new Harry Ringo girl that scares the Why shit out of everyone. Yep. Ton of fun to choose from. Really. And lastly we have the community. I mean volatile is a strong word. Um the community is never at peace and all it takes is a little push to send people over the edge. Psych. And that happens all the time and it's great to see how the community reacts to the ever changing state of the game. For better or worse, till that do us part. Um that's that's about it i mean that's all i could muster up for my first video and now that i'm editing this i realize that it makes no sense whatsoever oh my god bro you're so trash and you know what it's okay sometimes things don't need to make sense they just need to be done and i'm glad i've made this upload happen i hope you enjoyed this video as i did making it and i'll see you all in 50 years time hopefully by then you guys would have liked and shared the video and subscribe to the channel If you don't then um I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. Until next time fam. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.